come, let us adore Him. Christ, Lord. Come on, sing it with me. Oh, come. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. For He alone is worthy. For He alone is worthy. For He. Christ, me and Pastor Amy. We join our faith together and we are grateful for this Christmas morning. We have a right to praise you this morning. We are so grateful. Thank you, God, for allowing us to see another Christmas. Me and Pastor Amy, our children, and all of our lovely social media family, God. Thank you for allowing all of us to see another Christmas. There was heartache, there was pain, there was death, there was sickness, disease, there was agony this year. But God, you still allow us to see another Christmas. And for this, we are grateful. We are thankful to you this morning. Minister to your people this morning. Through the Word of God, encourage them, touch them, heal them, deliver them, set them free. Answer their prayers this morning, God. Not our will, but your will be done. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. And for me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, and our family, Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year. We wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Glory to God. What a day to be alive. What a day to be praising God on this wonderful Christmas morning. Oh, glory to God. I'm so excited. And on this morning, on this Christmas morning, we are talking about God knows exactly what he is doing. God knows exactly what he is doing in your life and in my life. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I want to take you now into the word of God in the book of Luke chapter 2. The Bible says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. They were doing a census. So that means that no matter where you lived in Israel, you had to go back to that town where your forefather, where your forefathers was from and be registered. They were doing a census. That's what taxes means right there. And this taxing 
was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. Watch this. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. Now watch this. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. He had to go back to Bethlehem. But it was God who moved on these leaders, world leaders, to call for a census, to force Joseph and Mary to go and be registered into Bethlehem because it was almost time to bring forth and give birth to the Messiah. Micah prophesied in the book of Micah chapter 5 verse 2. We read that. We read that day before yesterday. Micah prophesied that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Glory to God. I dare someone to lift your hands to heaven this morning and say, God knows exactly my God. He will move on some of these kings and presidents to put certain things into place so his own plans could be fulfilled. The Bible says the heart of the king is in the hands of God and as the rivers of water God can turn it however he will. Are you listening to me? Glory to God. So this was, this was the plan of God. This was God behind the scenes pulling strings and orchestrating and directing and making things happen. So Joseph and Mary, they had to go back to Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. She was in a ninth month now. It's, it's time. What a time. I know Mary must have thought, Joe, you got to be out of your mind traveling this long distance. It's almost time. But Joseph knew they had to obey the, the, the orders of the king. The king decreed it, so they had no choice. But, but this was the hand of God behind the scenes because he had to go to Bethlehem so Micah's prophecy would be fulfilled. Verse 6, the Bible says, And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Glory to God. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. He had to be born in Bethlehem because the prophet through the Holy Ghost, prophesied it that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. God knows exactly what he is doing. God is making things move. He is making things change. He is making things shift. He is ordering your footsteps. Even when it looks like these worldly people are in control sometimes, I want you to know that God sits on the throne. He rules and he reigns, and he knows exactly what he is doing. And we know, Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, even to them who are called according to his purpose. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. What a shock they were about to get. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, the angel is saying to the shepherds, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This is the Messiah. This is the Savior who takes away the sins of the world. He is the Son of God. This is the King of the Jews, the real King of the Jews, the one appointed by God, not by man. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. And this shall be a sign unto you. 
you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Isaiah prophesied that God, the Lord himself will give you a sign. A virgin shall give birth to a son. Lord have mercy. And now the angel is confirming this. This is the sign. Jesus is that sign. <laughs> you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. This was the first Christmas. Glory to God. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. They saw the baby Jesus. They saw the Messiah. He was born in Bethlehem exactly as Micah the prophet prophesied it, exactly as Isaiah prophesied that a virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son. This is a sign. He said, this is a sign the Lord will give. He is the Messiah. He is the King of the Jews. And Jesus is the reason for the season. This is why we celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays. Give me a break. There couldn't be no happy holidays if it wasn't for Jesus. I'll tell you what makes the holidays happy. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Jesus is the Son of God. He was born of a virgin. Oh, come. <laughs> Let us adore Him. Oh, come. Let us adore Him. Oh, come. Let us adore Him. Christ the Lord. Oh, come. Let us adore. Oh, come. Let us adore Him. Oh, come. Let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord, for he alone is worthy, for he alone is worthy, for he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy, Christ the Lord. For he alone, for he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. For he Father God, bless your people on this day. Bless every last one of them that's under the sound of my voice. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Step into their situation. Turn things around. Get them ready to go into this new upcoming year. But on today, we remember the birth of Jesus. And Father, we are grateful because if it was not for Jesus, shh, come in to be born of a virgin and to die on Calvary Cross, we would be headed to a Christless hell. Thank you for saving every last one of us. Bless your people this morning. Bless them, encourage them, touch them, heal them, deliver them, set them free, and answer their prayers. In the name of Jesus, not our will, but yours be done in the name of Jesus. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a day to give a gift. 
to support the preaching of the gospel of Jesus. You can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. And listen from my beautiful wife and my family, me, my beautiful wife and my family, we say to you, we wish you a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. We love you and join us again on tomorrow morning as we continue this series, Nothing Can Stop God's Plan. We love you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Bye-bye.